Hey everybody, welcome back to another review. If you didn't catch my last review, I reviewed the China Glaze Hello Sugar Collection. I have a giveaway in there, so go back and watch that and enter the giveaway there. So I'm not gonna announce this on Instagram or anything. I'm gonna keep it solely on YouTube. So those who are truly watching my videos every time are gonna be the first to enter. So go check that out. Before we get into the video, I'm gonna talk about what's on my lips and what's on my nails. And I will link any shirts or anything down below if I can, if they're still available, because I get questions about that. So what I'm wearing on my lips is this new to me this urban decay I don't know what you call it <laughs> it's their newer like liquid lipsticks and it's a little bit more matte this is in the shade Textum, and I really am liking it quite a bit it's a little bit of a matte finish and it's kind of a warm nude shade I'll link that down below and then the polish that I'm wearing is this lovely one from the new Morgan Taylor collection and it is called test the waters so this one I just did a Q&A on Instagram someone asked me what my favorite polishes were so far this year and I listed like my favorites that have come out so far this year from each brand that I really like and I missed putting this one on that list so if you screenshot that list just know I was missing this this one I was like dang I'm missing that posh I really like this one I was excited to wear it I'm really liking this Morgan Taylor collection I did a review for it I like that the colors are kind of appropriate now because they're not super bright they're a little bit more muted so it's kind of nice to wear in like early spring so I'm enjoying this one today I'm gonna be reviewing the Olive and June Farmers Market collection there are some really great polishes in here there's different ways you can purchase these polishes you can buy each individual polish for nine dollars there's six in the collection or you can buy this set which is forty eight dollars or you can buy the box um, which has some limited edition pieces for $80. I really like their Manny system. I have an at-home manicure video that I have filmed showing all of these products in these kits and I use all their products every time I do my nails so I really do like them. If you do purchase the Manny system and you're a first-time customer you can use my code OJGOPOLISH20 to get 20% off the system. So I'm going to show you real quickly what's in the box. It comes with the six polishes and it also comes with their nail polish removing pot which I love especially when I'm swatching colors it comes with this I believe this is limited edition the farmers market money pouch which is really cute it comes with their top coat which is really great most of the time I do use my glisten and glow but I do use this one at times as well I think it's okay I do like to do two coats of this if I'm using it though but honestly I do prefer the glisten and glow just so you guys know <laughs> I get asked that all the time okay and then it comes with this limited edition pouch which is super cute love the color of it I actually throw these in my swim bag to put things in all the time and I love them. This is a limited edition chartreuse green poppy. I don't really use the poppy but I know there's people out there that do and then I love this buffing block. It comes with a cleanup brush which I love and use. This is the one I use and I love their serum. I usually keep one of these in my car and then this is my favorite file. I don't use anything else and then it comes with these cute clippers and these ones are actually really cute. They have this little rubberized thing on them. That's what's in the pouch. So and in in the box. I really do like their systems which is really great and I can use my cleanup brush for so long. I've had the one that I'm using right now for almost a year I think and it's still pretty good which is amazing after dipping it in acetone several times a day. Let's get into the polishes. There are six polishes. Six of them are jellies which I really found kind of fun. I know that Cirque Colors came out with some jellies last year and I passed up on them but um, now that I've swatched these I'm like oh I wish I would have picked those up. I think they are kind of fun. I think they're gonna be fun to play around with this summer so uh, let's get into it this first one is not kill and it's a chartreuse green cream I really am liking these there's been a few companies come out with these bright kind of yellow green polishes so I will get into those comparisons in a minute but the formula is really great on this one I think you're gonna need possibly three coats just because it is a little crelly leaning but it is quite buildable but overall I think it does have a good formula I think there's times that you maybe could get away with wearing two coats on this one I think my live swatch was two when I was taking pictures I did three because I noticed a few spots that were a little bit patchy so I would say most likely three coats on this one let's look at the comparisons for this one because like I said there's a lot of companies that have come out with some greens this summer which has been really fun so we have your sensational from Essie that one's super close maybe a titch more yellow if we're getting really picky that one has a little bit more of an opaque formula and it has a really nice 
formula. That one you're pretty much going to be pretty good with two coats. You might need three on that one too though <laughs> just because these light yellows can be difficult. So I wanted you to see it compared to that one but these are pretty much almost exactly the same. So if you like Olive and June and you want a color that's like that Essie color then this is the one to get. Olive and June Energize is more green and then OPI Clear Your Clash is a little more of a lime green. This really was the closest green out of Olive and June. They have like Cucumber Sandwich and Lime Fizz but those are definitely different. Um, so I didn't compare it to those. I definitely wanted to just keep it close to the ones that have been coming out this year. And then the new China Glaze Polish Holy Sugar, which I really love too, has more yellow in it and it's definitely a lot brighter and I love that one too. So I probably like the Essie one the best just because the formula is so fantastic and opaque on that one. And then I like the China Glaze Holy Sugar one too, but I like this one as well. So it's a great one. And then we have Lavender Stems and this is one of the sheer colors and I love this lavender sheer. It's so fun. It's a little bit of a milky lavender shade, which is really nice and it builds up a little more opaque than I initially thought that it wood so it's really nice actually in two coats but I would definitely do three because I don't like to see the nail line very often. I really just love the formula on this one. I think it's going to be so fun to wear and I'm really curious to see how long this one is going to last because sometimes these sheer polishes don't last as long at least in my experience so I'm definitely going to try to do a wear test <laughs> when I can. I'm not sure when that will be but I'll definitely be wearing this one. It totally reminded me of Strawberry Scone which is my, one of my favorite pink shears. I did my favorite pink shears video several months back and you guys can check that out but it kind of reminded me of that a little bit so I think this one is so fun and I love that we have a polish like that in this lavender shade so let's look at those comparisons I did put up strawberry scone just so you could see which one I was talking about it's just a really fun light pink that one is definitely more sheer than lavender stems just so that you're aware and then Olive in June you're invited I would say is their sister polish so it's the same color as lavender stems but it's the more opaque version so if you love your invited that color tone this is pretty much that same color tone but in sheer and then fierce and loving is more of a red toned lavender love this one so much definitely will be wearing it this spring and possibly even this summer and I think this might be kind of fun on the toes too I've never really worn like a sh more sheer polish on the toes uh, maybe I'll give it a go this summer we'll see and then we have berry basket it's this beautiful blue they describe it as a soft turquoise but I would say it's pretty much just like a warmer sky blue it's really nice though I love it so much. I love blue shades like this. It's got a good curly formula that's buildable, so I think you're going to be pretty good with two coats. I might want to interject and say you might need three though. Okay, so I compared it to Blue La La and Olive and June Honest and True and OPI Selling and Nilling. And I wanted to say that these are all super close, but Berry Basket is a touch warmer than these. But really, if you looked at them in low light, they all look really, really close. So I know why I love this one because Blue La La is one of my favorite blues from Essie. It's kind of hard to find now. Um, like I said, that one is a touch cooler, but I do find that they are pretty close. So I love this one. I do like that it's a little warmer. And as I'm looking at it right now, I'm like, ooh, it is a little bit of turquoisey now that I'm looking at it. And I just really enjoy it. And I think it's so fun for spring. And then we have carrot juice and they call it a fresh orange. And I love it. It is definitely a more orange leaning coral and it has a brightness to it, which is amazing. And this is a cream as well. So the creams are the green, the blue, and this orange and the purple and the berry shades are the shards. So I love the formula on this one too. It actually builds up super nice in two coats. It's got an amazing formula and I just love the color tone so much. I love these kind of coral polishes, especially when they have a little bit of brightness to them. So let's look at those comparisons. I compared it to one of my favorite OPI polishes, Time for a Napa. That one's very close. It has a touch more red in it and it's maybe a little bit more bright and it shows up super bright in the camera. And then Stinson Sunset, which is an Olive in June polish, is more of a pink coral. So you can see the difference there. And then OPI got myself into a jambalaya is close to Stinson Sunset. So hopefully that comparison helps you see how it compares to polish in OPI's line. So I really enjoyed this coral. I probably should have pulled out some Essies. Maybe I'll try to pull some out and do another comparison. I feel like this is going to be darker than a lot of those um, corally polishes that Essie has. So I'll think about it and maybe I'll add another picture in here. I just painted my nails. <laughs> 
So I'm not sure I want to do that right now, but um, just know that it's a coral, but it's more orange leaning. And then we have strawberries are in season right now. I have to say that I'm loving their names. They've done their names different, it seems like, with each collection, but kind of going more with the fun, like descriptive names. So I think they're having fun just kind of playing around with different names, and I love the name of all of these, and I think the theme is so cute. But anyway, this is a strawberry jelly, and it is so fun, you guys. This is definitely the most sheer of the sheer jellies. You're going to see your nail line probably even with three coats and maybe even with four. So I would just stick to three. You don't want to get it too thick. It's kind of fun to play with. I think I'm really going <laughs> to enjoy wearing this one. I'm just going to have fun playing with more jelly polishes. Maybe I will try to find some of those Cirque color jellies that they came out with because I really do love their formulas. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if Beyond Polish has it or not. I'll have to look and see and I'll put it here if they do. But sometimes those Cirque color polishes just fly off the shelf. So anyway, this one's really fun. I'm definitely excited to try it. I'm going to show you some comparisons here. I compared it to XOXO, so I would say that is their sister color. So it's the same color tone. That one's just of an opaque color. So if you like that one, this is pretty much the same color as that. And then Cherry Crush is warmer and brighter and obviously opaque. And then Nelfi Time is more of a berry shade. So that helps you give you an idea of what kind of berry color it is. But all these pinks are amazing. You guys, I kind of forgot about Cherry Crush and XOXO. So I'm definitely going to pull those out this spring and hopefully I'll remember to wear them. There's so many polishes that come out that sometimes I forget about the old polishes that I reviewed a year or two ago and so it's fun to do comparisons to remind me of some of those. So I'm going to pull some of those out this spring and summer. But I really like this one. I think it's going to be fun to play with it. This next one is this Lettuce is Radicchio and I think that's how you say it. But anyway, I love this berry polish. This is a sheer as well, but it's definitely a more buildable, but it's definitely a more buildable... <laughs> But it's definitely a more buildable sheer. I did it. So it's like the lavender. That one's pretty buildable too, but that one's a lighter polish. So this is even more opaque because it's a darker color. So two coats, you're like almost good and it still kind of looks crelly, but you might want to do three. Um, but I loved it so much. This color is so fun. So it's definitely just like a nice squishy purple that's not so sheer that you see your nail line. And it reminded me a lot of the formula of Splash of Grenadine from Essie. So I pulled that one out so you guys could see. And in this comparison, you'll see it's definitely lighter. The formula is pretty similar to this. I love that polish so much, you guys. It's such a great one. I didn't mention that in my pinks, you guys. I'm losing my mind. That one should have been mentioned in my pinks too, so hopefully if you're watching all these reviews, you're catching some of these that I'm mentioning that I knew I would forget, but that one's really great. And then Wild Orchid, just so you can see, is a brighter purple pink, and then Swoon and Lagoon is very close in color, so I thought I'd throw that one in so you can see that this is very close to that shade, but obviously they're different formulas. I just thought you might find that helpful. So I love this one too. I really did. I feel like it's going to be hard for me to pick my favorites, you guys. Ah, okay, I'm going to do it. I find it's interesting that I picked these. I do love all of them, but since those other ones are pretty much ones that we've already seen, like the coral, the green, and the blue, I'm going to go for these jellies. All the jellies are my favorites just because I think they're fun and I'm excited to play them. So we have, let's see, strawberries are in season right now. This lettuce is radicchio and lavender stems. You're definitely so fun. What do you guys think about this collection? Let me know if you're going to pick any of these up. Let me know if you're all in June fans. And thanks so much for watching again. We will see you guys in my next review. Bye.